I recall reading in, in um, I believe it was the book by Per Anger, who was a colleague of Walt Wallenberg, that he estimated- The one colleague, the one colleague who refused to believe that he was dead. Really? Okay. Okay, well. I, I believe, if I'm, if I'm, if I remember correctly, that he 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 makes the claim that between the Jews that were hiding and the deportations that Wallenberg stopped, that that one should credit Wallenberg with saving up to a hundred thousand Hungarian Jews. Is is that is is that something that you would agree with? Uh, it depends on how you define save and uh, okay. how you define the Wallenberg's role in it. Okay. Uh, I normally say that uh, because, as I, I told you, it was a collective work. Absolutely. So if you count uh, all the actions that his uh, impressive organization uh, even had its own security police with patrols going out 24 hours a day on uh, uh, alarms, uh, so with all this impressive uh, organization, with the houses that he built in the, the special international ghetto that he managed to, to, um, uh, to, to uh, what do you say, negotiate. He negotiated with the other neutral diplomats to have a special international ghetto with Swiss houses and Swedish houses. He had over more than 30 houses. He supported more than 10,000 people with food daily. So uh, normally I would say that his organization saved around 30,000 maybe uh, Jews. If you, with this higher uh, figure, uh, is more difficult uh, because it, then you have to take into account the, the saving of the central ghetto. And suddenly you jump up to 100,000 uh, Hungarian Jews saved by Wallenberg if you count the, the rescue of the central ghetto as uh, something that Raoul Wallenberg was responsible for. But at that time, he was already dealing with the Russians or even arrested. So um, uh, what happened was that the, the German general who uh, suddenly gave the order that the international ghetto should not be uh, attacked, uh, was threatened with the name of Raoul Wallenberg. That if, uh, so even his name was enough to save people mm. in the end, so you could say, but he wasn't the man saving the central ghetto. Yeah. As you have met survivors of the war, who were in contact with Wallenberg, daily contact, any kind of contact with Wallenberg. What is the common um, thought, uh, impression that they had of Wallenberg, the person? What, what's common to their narrative about Wallenberg? Uh, he spoke a lot. He had a peculiar American accent in his uh, uh, German language. He was uh, uh, energetic, extremely energetic, uh, uh, and uh, uh, always working, high tempo, courageous. Uh, he demanded a lot from his co-workers and he never gave up. He always said that, that he always wanted a, a next try. Um, so, uh, yes, 